Hi everybody, my name is Lucas Gilbert here at the South Lafourche Public Library and today we're going to be uh, teaching y'all and showing, showcasing what we do have here that is magnet tiles and also our magnetic blocks. And you're probably asking what is magnet tiles and magnetic toys? Well, they are basically different shapes that, that uses uh, magnets in order to connect to each other. They each have a different size and you can go ahead and put them together and connect them with different shapes. I have here in which I have a cube. I've here made a triangle. This one is a sort of a three-dimensional triangle diamond shape and then also two in which if you're fancy enough you could go ahead and create very complex shapes like this called an icosahedron which is a 20-sided triangular uh, decahedron. A lot of stuff but also too if you play D&D &D, this is a D20. Critical. But now you're probably asking, well, how, how did these, these toys stay together? Well, the major principle to this is, has to do with uh, magnets and magnetic fields, in which all magnets, no matter what it is, has a north and a south side. And basically this magnetic field, what it does is it's an invisible barrier that is surrounding that goes in sort of this pattern right here and it's and all magnets has this sort of pack pattern now what does make magnets stick together well for every north there is a south and probably everybody has heard this at one time or another opposites attract so all magnets once again has this magnetic field in which whenever a north side comes into a close proximity of a south side, they are attracted to each other. Now, for every, for every one reaction in science, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So, if we have the north side, two north sides facing each other, two south sides facing each other, the effect is exactly the opposite. One way wants to attract it, the other way wants to say, nope, I want as far away as possible from you. That is how some of these magnets do work. The way magnet tiles work is no matter which way you put it, you can't have a wrong connection. We have a conductive wire wrapping around the magnet as it is going up and down, 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 past these wires will actually conduct electricity. and the magnet goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. After a short time of charging it up, you will actually produce light. Once again, this is Lucas at the library. 